Hey folks, Rob here. And I'm going to remake this video on uh, uh, disassembly, cleaning, and uh, reassembly of the uh, Springfield XDS. This happens to be the Mod 2 uh, in 9mm. Uh, the first time I made this video, um, I, I did fumble with it some because it had been months uh, since I'd uh, uh, disassembled an XDS and uh, or XD of any kind for that matter. So I did fumble a little bit, but uh, got a lot of complaints. A lot of people, uh, you know, were just not happy with the video. Uh, I put this information out here to try and help people, and I want to give good information, not bad information. So I took down the video, which had uh, almost 2,000 views, and uh, we're going to try this again. So uh, what I'm going to use is my, these are awesome, real avid uh, boar snakes. I use that. Got some Hoppies number nine and some Rimmel and a toothbrush. That's basically what I use. Uh, you can use other solvents and cleaners and oils and you can use a rod. You can use different methods. But uh, uh, first and foremost, you want to assure your gun is unloaded and safe. So you want to check your chamber, uh, remove your magazine, any ammunition you might have. You want to make sure that's... Um, it nowhere near the gun. So with the XDS, uh, once you've uh, checked and made sure it's clear uh, and you've uh, removed your magazine, with the slide in the rearward position, you push up on your lever here, your takedown lever. Okay, and as you do that, hold your slide and allow your slide to go forward. Now, you will have to pull your trigger on this gun in order for the slide to come off. But once you pull your trigger, the slide assembly will come apart. This gun is not really dirty uh, because, truthfully, I haven't shot it since uh, I made the last video. But uh, uh, the last cleaning video uh, apparently didn't suit a lot of people. And uh, they said I rambled too much, talked too much, and... Didn't know what I was doing and giving bad information, so here we go again. So anyway, I like to start with the barrel. So uh, take out your your uh, recoil spring and guide rod. This one happens to be a two-piece, uh, and it's captured, so there's no springs to come loose. And then remove the barrel, and the barrel just drops out from the bottom. And uh, what I like to do is in, inspect my slide here. And that's, uh, I usually start with the barrel. So what I use on my barrel is, I typically use this real avid boar snake. And if you haven't used these, these are really nice because they kind of do the whole barrel with one thing. They're a self-contained uh, cable, has a 9mm 357 brush on it and a mop. And... Uh, your container here is also the pull handle so and I'll demonstrate that here in a minute but anyway I like to take my barrel and uh, take a little bit of hoppies and uh, you can use a q-tip or a swab or something that's a new one I haven't even opened that one I thought I got a new one but I couldn't remember if I did or not I think that might have been a gripe on the last video. I'd run out of this and didn't have it. So I typically take a little hoppies, put a little bit on my brush, and kind of let it kind of run down through the barrel. Just uh, wipe down the barrel, feed ramp, get some hoppies all over it. That'll take any powder residue, and then feed the boar snake through. You always want to go from the chamber in and feed that through. Now, on these right here, you see there's a notch there. And that notch goes in there like that. So you can take the handle and grab it like this and pull your bore brush and your mop through like that. And I would typically do this a couple times, but since the gun is not really dirty, 
this is more for demonstration purposes I'll just run it through the once and this does an excellent job of cleaning the bore and like I said you can run it through multiple times if you got a lot of dirt and fouling then you can run it to through more than one time so anyway so there's the barrel done we'll lay that aside and then I typically take a little hoppies on my brush and uh, I'll go in and clean the breech face really well where you have powder residue and build up clean your breech face along your your slide rails here on the inside I'll clean that real good with the hoppies and then just take a rag and wipe off the excess this will get all the carbon and the oils and dirts and things that are built up in it and you can take a q-tip and uh, and uh, get down into these uh, areas I have a, a little pick that uh, little plastic picks like they're like dental picks that I use on when they're really extremely dirty and to get in around firing pin holes and things of that nature but anyway just uh, clean it up and there's there's lots of different methods you can use to clean lots of different uh, implements you can use q-tips cotton swabs uh, you can cut patches I mean there's really no wrong way to clean a gun well I guess there is a wrong way but as long as it's clean lubricated um, and you're safe about it that's the main thing always follow safety protocol make sure your guns unloaded and just clean it and uh, lay that aside now as far as your uh, frame goes I'll typically take take the hoppies and just get a little bit on there and I'll clean along my slide rails and uh, clean that area good down in here I'll even take and go down in the magazine well and with my toothbrush and just get out any excess uh, dirt or anything that might have accumulated powder residue and uh, clean that good and same with that and like I said you can use cotton swabs to get reach down in the hard to reach places um, q-tips uh, you know uh, dental picks with the little pieces of cloth there are lots of different ways uh, for uh, for like the mag well I would just take my dental pick this is one of the plastic picks and I just run my rag up in there and kind of get a, out the uh, hoppies that I got in there and you can take this and get down into places you know just take your rag on your and you can get down in here in your rails scrape out anything that's built up in there and uh, just clean it and uh, that's pretty much all there is to clean it you don't want to oil your magazines but I do like to take and just wipe my magazines off you don't want to use any oil or anything on them but you, you do want to clean them especially if they're blue steel you want to uh, um, just put a little coat of oil on them so all right now that we've got the gun cleaned and uh, to lubricate it uh, let's start with the barrel I typically uh, like to put one drop of oil in each side of the side in on the rail just drop it in the channel and one drop on the on this piece here it doesn't take a whole lot and this will spread as you uh, put the and then with my barrel I like to put a little bit here on the top of the the hood just to drop and a little bit here and basically I take my finger and just wipe it in just a little coating of oil and I'll drop that into the slide and you don't need to oil your your uh, spring put that in your gun make sure that's centered good all right on my frame I'll take and put a drop even though I put a little bit on the slide I'll put a drop on each rail just that maybe a drop there drop here drop there you don't need a whole lot of oil so with that I will of course you want that back up 
you will start your slide back onto your frame and push it back, lock it up, rotate your disassembly lever down, lower your hammer, check for function, and you are reassembled and ready to go. Now with that done, uh, last thing I like to do is just take just a drop or two of oil and just put it on the gun itself, on the metal, and just give it a, a wipe down. And that's pretty well all there is to cleaning, disassembling, and reassembling a Springfield XDS. Uh, whether it be the first generation, second generation, or uh, any of the uh, XDs, they pretty well all work the same. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope this is a better video and uh, people uh, don't complain about it and uh, say it sucks. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, taking the time to leave a comment. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And until the next video, we'll see you later.